On the build show today, I'm coming to you from Schluter Training. Now, if you don't know this company, this is a German company that does everything for tile installations except for the tile themselves. And I just attended a two-day workshop where they did a bunch of hands-on training, and I've got Steven, one of their main trainers here with me, who's actually going to show us how to install one of their products. But the main point of today's video is I wanted to talk to you about this. This is one of their products that's been out on the market for a long time, but not many people know about it. And I think this is an absolute game changer for builders like me because I've had a lot of pain associated with tile installs and a lot of warranty and a lot of expense because I didn't use this product in the past. So first off, let me tell you about the product, but Stephen is gonna do an install for us. Stephen, why don't you get started on this Ditter install and I'm going to talk about what I like about it and how it's going to potentially help you with warranty and callbacks uh, and getting a better tile install. So first off, this is a polyethylene product. It looks kind of like an egg crate that's been smashed. It's about an eighth inch thick and it's got a fleece backer on it. And what's going to happen is we're going to use thin set to bond it to the substrate, whether that's a plywood or a concrete base if you're slab on grade like me. And so the first step that Steven's going to do to apply this fleece side down is he's going to clean off the substrate and hydrate it. Put a little bit of moisture into the subfloor, which is what we're mimicking here um, with this OSB sheet. And then he's going to trowel on thin set and actually use the flat side of the trowel to press that thin set down into the subfloor so that we know we're getting a really good bond between this membrane. Okay, now back to the membrane. In Texas, where I am, most of the foundations here, or most of the houses are built slab on grade, meaning there's a concrete slab, and then the house gets built right on top of the slab, which means that we've got a lot of bedrooms and bathrooms that are on the first floor that are right on concrete. So we've got tile that's getting installed right on concrete. Now, there's two types of concrete in the world. You probably know this already. There's concrete that's cracked, and the second type, which is most common, is concrete that's going to crack. And that's been my experience over the years. You never know where you're going to find a crack in the future in concrete. And if you're installing tile right to concrete, what happens is when that concrete cracks, that crack is going to migrate up to the tile because the tile is physically attached and tile is a hard and brittle surface. So as that concrete underneath cracks, that crack is going to transfer up to the tile above and you're going to see that crack. And that has been a huge pain in the butt for me as a builder and remodeler over the years, uh, where I, I see a perfect install the day that my client moves in, and then at some point later, whether it's six months or two years, we get a call back on some tile cracks. And that's where this product comes in. I've started using Detra probably one to two years ago now on my projects over uh, concrete installs. And what's happening here is this is an uncoupling membrane, meaning, that this little flattened egg, egg crate that we talked about gives the ability for that crack not to transfer up to the surface. So when we attach our tile to this, the tile is uncoupled from the surface below. Now here's how this works for the rest of y'all that aren't slab on grade and that are putting tile installs over what Schmidt is showing here, which is basically a wood subfloor, let's say. When you do a wood subfloor, what are you using for tile backer most of the time? using some type of cement board typically so you can stiffen up that subfloor and there's no movement that's going to crack that tile. And what does cement do board do for you? It also gives you a, a good substrate to, tile, to adhere tile to because you can't adhere tile directly to subfloor. That's not going to work. But what's the problem with cement board? Well, there's a bunch of problems with cement board, but one of the major problems is that it's super heavy, it's dusty to cut, it's expensive, and it it's, can be a pain to work with. Now you can get a good install if you do it right, but there's a lot of steps to it, and it's gonna add thickness to your install. Now this on the other hand, the Schluter Ditra, this is where it's really awesome also on subfloor as well as concrete installs, because this material is about an eighth inch thick here. This is their Ditra, or the standard Ditra. It's not gonna add a lot of thickness to the floor. It's also super lightweight. A whole roll of this weighs just a few pounds. I think a total roll in this is like 40 pounds or so, and they come in two different thicknesses. This is Ditra XL, which is 5 16 thick, and this one is about an eighth thick. So in this installation here, our total floor thickness may be, depending on the tile thickness, of course, 
somewhere between a half or maybe five eighths thick. If we were trying to butt tile on a wood subfloor to um, a hardwood floor that's like three quarters thick, we might go with the Dietra XL. That way we could flush everything out. Okay, now let me back to uh, what Schmitty's doing here. He's now used the notch trowel and there's a specific trowel to use for the Dietra or the Dietra XL, which is gonna be the correct notch size. And now he's embedding that material, that fleece backing you see here, right down into that thin set. The other thing you need to remember is you need to use the correct thin set depending on your substrate. And now Smitty's pulling it up to check it. Now we're on the edge here, so this is not a perfect demo, but see he's got this fleece backing showing here still, but everywhere else, perfect and full adhesion. You wanna do that, you wanna pull up a section to make sure you're getting good adhesion. Okay, now there's a good example right here on this section. Not great adhesion. If you can move that towards the camera just a hair. Look at that, he's, he's not adhering really well there, which means that we're not gonna get a good tile install there. We might have some looseness later. So he's gonna need to either re-notch that thin set and get a good notch on there or really press it in. And I think that's the latter case. He didn't give a good press down. I think I heard him say yesterday that they need about 30 pounds of pressure on that vitro membrane to really embed it. Okay, now here's something, oh, that's perfect. Look at that, he's checked it now, we're good to go. Okay, here's something else that's really interesting about this that I really like, is this membrane in the body here where you've got the polyethylene is totally waterproof, right? This is a waterproofing membrane. So we're not in the shower portion of this demo, the shower's on the other side here, but in the body here, we're totally waterproof. If, if I had a splash over from the shower, waterproof here. However, where the seams come together, we're not waterproof because we've cut this material. And he's got two seams here, a kind of a T-shaped seam that he's gonna waterproof. And how does he waterproof that? They have a waterproofing membrane for their shower system, which we're not gonna have time to get into today. Stay tuned for some future, future videos on that, called uh, Curdy. And he's gonna use a band of that, a couple inch band, so that he can get two inches of coverage on either side of that lap and then he's gonna waterproof that seam. And he, he's already given it away a little bit, but he's also gonna be able to waterproof with that curdy, that floor to wall transition. And this is really cool. It means that I can get a custom shower pan basically on my tiled floor outside of my shower area. Where could this be helpful? Certainly in showers, if you had uh, a kid's bathroom, you're worried about them making a, a, a cannonball into the tub and splashing a bunch of water into here so that we could waterproof this entire floor. It also would be awesome in a laundry room area. You know, more than once at my house in the last 10 years, I've had my washing machine overflow onto my floor. And if you were on a second floor and that happened, you're gonna have a ton of water. It's gonna be a huge issue. And that's where massive insurance claims every year happen is from water leaks on a second floor wet area leaking down into the structure. So if you could waterproof that floor, what a huge difference that is gonna, gonna be to your clients. The next thing I wanted to mention is, again, we're not spending a bunch of time on today's video on the shower system, we'll do that in the future, but look how I could then also waterproof between this ditcher floor and the shower curb area. So that, that hump right there is meant to simulate a shower curb, and then we're gonna actually be able to do that curdy band between the shower curb and this ditra as well. So now I've got uncoupling, I've got a lightweight material that's easy on the installer. I've got thinness, which means I can flush everything out and not have a bunch of big fat T transition strips between my tile and my wood floor areas. And I can fully waterproof this. Guys, this is a really impressive system. I've really been, uh, I've really enjoyed the two day training. If you're interested in coming to one of these events, I'll put a link in the description below. I think it's schluterevents.com. If you're a builder, remodeler, architect, tile installer, or if you're a builder like me, I brought my tile installer with me and I've got two or three tile installers that haven't been yet. I'm gonna get them to come to a future episode uh, of this road show because they're doing this, uh, I think I heard them say like 30 events a year or something massive. So they're, they're doing these all the time. Very impressive, hands-on stations, some great training in the classroom, a bunch of really experienced tile installers that are doing this training too. So. Man, I've had, I've had a great couple days. Big thanks to Schmitty for, uh, for doing this live demo for us today. Guys, look for a link in the description. If you're doing any tile over concrete or wood, you should absolutely check out this Dietra system. Very, very impressive. 
And like I said, stay tuned for some, sh some future shower uh, waterproofing system videos. We just had that classroom training today. I've actually not installed one of their shower waterproofing systems before in one of my houses. I've been doing it with more traditional methods and I've been really, really impressed. So anyways, follow us on Twitter and Instagram if you're not currently. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.